kilos, out. Celsius, all the like. I was watching this video. This guy was talking about. Well, it's thirty degrees out, so it's a nice day to go out and shoot. I was like, thirty degrees. I was like, oh, he's in Canada. <laughs> all right, okay, you communist, yeah. using that bullshit metric system. Oh, they really are right now too. <laughs> they are. They're full on. I never thought it would happen that fast, bro. It's so bad. I'm worried that my podcast is going to be censored in Canada because they it's going just to pass some new fucking legislation where they're allowed to. Is it like the whole idea is like it's under the guise of Canadian content because they have a Canadian content law where they like you have to have a certain amount of Canadian based content on like the radio and television and stuff like that. You can't just have all stuff from all over the world, whatever people like. You yeah. have to have like a certain percentage of it has to be Canadian. And so the, under the guise of that, but really it's Trudeau trying to enforce censorship yeah. on podcasts because but they, they always do it in the cover and. and Every dangerous freedom censoring group does it under this idea of they're doing it for the greater good. Yes. You know, it's like whether it's diversity, equity, and inclusion, or it's making mm -hmm. sure that um, pro not disinformation or misinformation is be is being populated within the masses. It's, it's always through this veil of, no, no, it's for your benefit, but you pull the veil back a little bit and you see it's just censorship. It's just control. Yeah. They're, they're just trying to manipulate what information's uh, available for people to, to try to base their opinions off of. Have you ever seen that video of Trudeau from like 10 years ago? I mean, it might've been from more, it might've been like 2010. And he's talking about how he's opposed to, do you got coffee in there? Yeah. Salute my friend. Cheers. Um, he's opposed to regulations with guns. Cause he's like regulations are the first step that they take and the ultimate goal is to remove your gun so we will not have regulations yeah. like he's talking about this like in 2010 or 2011 yeah well i mean he was following a playbook yeah so he absolutely didn't believe that though because right. he knew that in you know within a decade he would be trying to confiscate every single gun that he could get his hands on and make transfer of pistols illegal which it's illegal, it's illegal yeah. for if i have a pistol and i want to sell you a pistol i cannot that's it. It's so wild. It's so wild how quick it changed over there. They used COVID to just enforce these sweeping legislations across all sectors. They don't have a free speech. They don't have a First Amendment over there. So they have hate speech laws, which can be interpreted so vaguely. And this is what Jordan Peterson was rallying against, like back when they had this bill that was set up to make people use someone's gender identity. Mm -hmm. And he was like, well, what, what gender identity are you talking about? There's 78 current gender identities that someone can choose to identify with including just complete nonsense, yeah. made up words, and, you just, and it's gonna keep going. I don't know how many of them there are now, but he's like, the only way you enforce this is with, you're gonna have to use force. And it's like the rule of law. Now it's like, you're gonna send armed thugs to arrest people for not using made up words. Like yeah. this is where this goes. Especially Peterson, who knows so much about communism and so much about where the, the, the darkness that it leads down to. Yeah. It, I love that he approaches it both from like a philosophical perspective and a historical perspective. You know, he, he, he is so well versed and knowledgeable in, in Kate, the, the, the argument that they're making from this position, this is where it leads to. And not only do we understand this in human nature and here's a bunch of examples of it, but then also historically, here's a bunch of examples of it. So it makes it really hard to dispute what, what is really logical and, and rational and Okay, if you're here and they want to go from point A to point B, this is the process for them to get there. Yes. And uh, you're like, yeah, another brilliant man that does a lot of good. Well, you need a guy like him who has such a deep understanding of history and also is a clinical psychologist who understands the human mind on a very, very deep level. Yeah. So he can explain things in a way that is almost impossible to refute. Like he, he, He's got all his bases covered when he ha discusses a subject and he can can pull it off of his head the guy uses no notes and he just will quote things and explain things in the most complex manner and make it pal make it absorbable to everybody yeah